Hi, my beautiful Taurus, and welcome to your bonus reading. This is going to be, um, I'm going to put it for March energies, but it is just whenever you see this is when it is for you. So if you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, I'm so glad to have you on my channel. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, the links for that will be in the description box below. So feel free to check out the personal readings. Um, depending on when I post this, till the end of February, there is 30% off. So you might get an you might get a day or two to participate in that, um, as well as um, after or sorry after that, everything's back to normal pricing. So extended or sorry, wow. Personal readings will be down below. Extendeds will also be down below. We'll be doing your romance angels. We'll clarify those. We're going to go through Taurus, dealing with each and every one of the signs. You can look at it from their sun, moon, and rising for most accuracy. And then we are going to do a love spread, which is about you and whoever you are interested in the most. We're going to look at your feelings for them, their feelings for you, where things are going, and all of that information that you need to know. So the link for that is below. Feel free to follow me on Instagram if you're not already. We have Fridays, our uh, weekend energies. And then on Saturdays, we do the free extended giveaway so if you're interested in more content feel free to follow me on instagram below is instagram and facebook so if you don't have instagram you can follow me on facebook everything i post on instagram automatically goes to facebook and as a bonus if you are following me on youtube instagram or facebook you're automatically entered in the giveaway to win a free reading at the end of the month which is something that i do every single month all right guys so let's just jump right in i'm going to pull you guys some angels answers and um work your light and then we're going to get in with your tarot. So messages for Taurus. Show me what Taurus needs to see the most. I'm going to do it where if you guys want, you can ask a question. So if you want to pause the video, you can. You can ask a question and the answer will be... I'm going to pull three cards. So you can pick one, two, or three. And um, whatever other messages come out from these cards, you can take that as well. All right, so go ahead and think of your question and let's see... So if you chose card one, okay, we have two cards came out. If you chose number two, oh my gosh, this whole entire first two minutes of the video, please forgive me. This retrograde is really not my friend sometimes all right number two and number three all right so number one we have take action and trust trust that it is the right time to take action some of you need to trust your intuition and take action regarding to a message that your intuition is giving you. Number two, we have improving health. Some of you, this could be that, you know, whatever your question was, that maybe your focus needs to be on yourself right now when improving yourself, improving your self-care. And number three, we have opportunity and you're ready. So if there's a new opportunity, you are absolutely ready for it. If you've been thinking of a new opportunity, proceeding um, with something new, whether it's career or a love interest that you're wanting to pursue, it's definitely time. Take that chance. I see abundance, abundance everywhere. Don't you love that, Taurus? Money, money, money. Look at this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. Well, she pretty much just had a bunch of money in her hand. Um, and that's what I see for you guys. All right, so let's see. What messages does Taurus need to hear the most? Show me what we can get for Taurus, please. Strength. Some of you, this is regarding improving your health and working out. Some of you guys have been, you know, not feeling the greatest, or maybe you're just not happy with your image, the way that you look, and you're kind of like maybe not dressing the greatest or not feeling the greatest when you go out. There's nothing worse than when you're not happy with the way that you look. When you go outside and you look down because you're not happy with the way that you look, that is the worst feeling. I've had that feeling so many times before, and I mean, there is absolutely nothing worse you know so definitely do what it is that you need to do whatever it is that you can do to make yourself feel confident with how it is that you you know look how it is that you feel some of you guys it's about going to the gym because you're wanting to um 
gain some strength like i'm getting this as just actual strength not gaining weight not losing weight but more of like a strength thing well some of you guys it could be about that but i am seeing this as more of like feeling strong within you and also that confidence boost that mental boost that working out gives you i'm definitely sensing that maybe if you took a break from the gym it's time to get back on or if you never really joined the gym you know you don't have to join the gym but you could join a class it's great for socializing too but get in some get involved in some sort of physical activity i really think that that is the best for you guys right now especially if you live where, somewhere where it's really cold right now it's winter do something to get yourself moving right we're not outdoors as much because it's winter so definitely do something active to keep yourself active here all right i saw the wheel of fortune i really am sensing like money 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 message oh ten of swords with the sun some of you guys are okay some of you there could have been a betrayal because this is double uh leo energy so some of you are definitely dealing with a leo you could have been betrayed by a leo here it's coming into um not fruition it's coming into like it's being revealed here what was in the dark is now coming into the light here and some of you this is regarding a betrayal here somebody that you were dealing with um some of you this is definitely a leo but it could definitely be any sign um some of you this could be a pisces sun in Pisces some of you this could be a Pisces as well but I am getting um with this ten of swords that it is over that it is an ending and now you know with the sun card coming next it's like after a very burdening time within your life with strength being your overall energy you're picking yourself up you're picking yourself together and you're moving forward here some of you this was financial struggles and you're seeing the light something is being illuminated to you this could be the direction that you need to go in with your life here I'm also getting healing the sun is very healing energy some of you guys may need to spend more time with your family I'm getting like there's this energy that you get from being with your family and you're really missing your family you're really missing home you are missing that you know that family structure that you have especially if you live alone right maybe you're needing some more company um because i'm getting like some of you guys may be feeling a little bit alone right now traveling would be very beneficial for you guys as well messages for taurus the eight of swords some of you guys have fears about putting yourself out there this could be regarding like um anything where you're like maybe you want a youtube channel you want to put yourself out there on social media you want to go to you know try and be an actor try and be an actress try to be a model whatever it is i'm definitely seeing that there is fear because the sun is also about like illumination right it's being seen by the whole world and with um the eight of swords here you could definitely be fearing it. You could be fearing putting yourself out there. Some of you are fearing revealing your truth, showing who you truly are to the world here. You're trying to protect yourself, to guard yourself by not really fully being who you are. I'm sensing that this fear surrounding you is, you know, fear is just fear. It's just within your head. It is an actual illusion, right? And the best thing to get rid of fear is to just jump right into it. Anything that you're afraid of, right? So you guys should take a small step once you see this video. You don't have to go for your biggest fear although you know go big or go home is how I like to say but um you could just go for a small one and just start off with that but you know write down something that you're afraid of and tackle it just do it and once you feel how empowering it makes you feel you're gonna want to just tackle the rest of that list and when there's nothing to fear you're unstoppable I saw justice so if you were betrayed or you were dealing with a situation where you know you had been hurt justice is definitely going to be served um yeah justice things are definitely going to balance out within your life here some of you guys i'm sensing that you may be in a very difficult time you may be going through some serious transitions in your life this could be you know um traveling to another country moving to another country moving just your moving homes in general this could be starting a whole new job here but i'm almost getting that there was a lot that was removed from your life life released from your life whether you made the choice or it just naturally happened and now you're finding that balance again now you're finding out where it is that you want to go how do you want to do 
you it some of you you were removed a lot a lot was removed from your life and it may have seemed like it was the most devastating time of your life where you just felt like you were burdened and you couldn't do anything about all of these things being ripped out of your life but what you don't realize is you were left with a blank slate once you get that strength that courage and you start to see the light again after this energy of you know of, after this really down energy that has a lot of fear things are going to be balanced and what you don't realize is you get to choose how you want to replace those things that were moved that were taken out of your life you get to choose a whole new direction because some of you there were things that happened that definitely you don't feel you know were in your favor and they ultimately were so that you can realign yourself with things to be in your favor and you're just not seeing it like that so maybe this is just that message that you needed to get because i'm really getting that this is you know one of the strongest messages so far coming from the reading knight of pentacles which is your card right things are not moving as fast as you would like maybe you're not where you would like to be in your life The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Wow, somebody here has very gorgeous eyes. Um, wow, you're attracted to somebody that is very, very good looking. And this could be you guys as well here. But this is like, wow, like a complete glow up somebody that is very l like, yeah this is somebody that would draw you in right this could be somebody who has a lot of venus in their chart this could be somebody who has you know venus in their rising so this could be a libra rising this could be a taurus rising this could just be you right but there is somebody that is very attractive very alluring they're very elegant um, very graceful this is a very chic person they look you know very very sexy but at the same time so sweet and innocent but they're absolutely not right um it's their eyes there's something about their eyes that gets you the way that they bat their eyelashes here seduction is what i'm getting here some of you were seduced or you're wanting to seduce someone <sighs> there's something that has caught your eye and you can't take your eye off of it some of you don't even know this person it could be somebody that's on your instagram or on your social media you're wondering if you should approach this person steady um slow and steady wins the race but absolutely approach this person some of you have been you know interested in somebody for a very long time and you haven't made your move and now is the time for you to make your move towards this person uh if you're in a relationship i feel like the person that you're dealing with is wanting to move things a little bit further and you're kind of taking it too slow like this person wants or saw themselves with you um in a different place at this time and you're a little bit behind what they would want and i think you guys may need to communicate about that there may be a little bit of like if you feel like your partner's off you may need to talk because it may be that they just you know might have wanted things to move like maybe they wanted to move in maybe they wanted to be engaged by now maybe they wanted to have children and it's like instead of actually telling you this they're kind of just like looking at you in this weird way expecting you to just like read their mind how you know what i mean so definitely work on communication within connections messages for taurus the her hierophant your card good um commitment long-term commitment this is slow and steady the lovers wow some of you guys are going through a divorce others of you are going through the process of being married here if you're going through a divorce know that you're literally walking into your light and if you don't think that this if you think that it is you know a lot and you are not wanting like maybe the divorce wasn't your choice know that everything you want is outside of this divorce you are actually walking towards your son you're walking towards that perfect family life that you've always wanted but it's not with this person you're just not able to see it right now those of you who are in a long-term relationship the lovers here you could be dealing with a gemini um you could be dealing with a libra you could be dealing with a leo and you could be dealing with another taurus but i am definitely sensing that there is a strong magnetic attraction between you and somebody things have not picked up or things have been on and off between you and this person but i'm getting that there's just this pull regardless of you know if you guys are talking right now if you guys aren't talking um you just you'll never be able to forget this person they've made such an impact in your life you've made such an impact in this person's life and you guys feel like you were divinely guided towards one another whatever your religious background is if you're spiritual i feel like this person has very similar um they have like pretty much the same background as you i feel like they have a very similar mindset this person opens up your mind and you help to open up their mind they help you to see your true potential and you do the same for this person you guys really complement each other this is a very like um i'm getting like a partnership right 
a true partnership with this person and with you guys coming out here i definitely sense that you know there is somebody in your life that you've definitely thought about marrying you've definitely thought about you know tying the knot with settling down with um you have your eyes on someone or somebody has their eyes on you where it's like that's it like done that's the one that i want and now somebody is just trying to figure out how to approach this there's somebody that likes things to go a certain way and that could definitely be you um but if it's you you have a plan and if it's them they have a plan this is like such a powerful connection here this is like one of those connections where like um if you're in the room like you can feel that there's like a, such a strong chemistry um between two people like the whole room can feel it and it gets a little bit awkward or hot in the room all of a sudden that's this kind of connection like you guys draw people towards you you're not just drawn towards each other Some of you, this person was drawn into your life to really help you get out of a very tough time. You might have been drawn to, um, in their life when they were going through a very tough time. All right. The star, wow. This, relate, this new relationship is going to be a wish come true, a dream come true. I mean, the way that the star is and the sign, it's like you have everything you need within your hands. It's all in your palms. It's like I'm getting the magician energy. Everything you need is already within you. You just have to realize it here. You're sitting on your happiness. You're sitting on your throne. You're sitting on your wish fulfillment here. With this star card, there's a lot of healing energy within this relationship, within the two of you guys and your connection here. The intimate connection is absolutely just magnetic you know you guys could be dealing with a scorpio actually because i just did scorpio's reading and i said taurus i said a scorpio could be dealing with a taurus maybe taurus came out i'm not sure what made me say that but um this energy is actually a little bit similar so it could definitely be a scorpio that some of you guys are dealing with if so you can check out wow you can check out their reading and definitely check out their extended um because with the hierophant and the lovers like this matches the extended so much so for sure check out um the extended especially if you want things to move forward or if this is the person that you want to marry that you see yourself marrying then go for it um yeah with the star card you guys are somebody here could definitely be in the social like somebody here gets a lot of attention to, drawn towards them here somebody doesn't like that someone gets a lot of attention but i'm getting there's one energy here that gets a lot of attention and they like that they get the attention they i'm getting like they feel like a star they feel like um yeah they feel like a star maybe they are a star here i'm getting that somebody wants to name a star after you Somebody feels like you have the world and their world in the palm of your hands. This is somebody that you can be so vulnerable with. I feel like also you guys are coming closer to your true purpose. You're coming closer to your life's purpose. Some of you guys that are single are going to be meeting somebody that is going to introduce you to your life purpose. And it's something that you've never even known. Like you didn't even know that this thing existed. And it's going to become something that you become obsessed with. And maybe you start a business out of it. Or maybe you work in a field that is related to it. Um... But it, it's almost like your life is about to be completely flipped, but in the best ways possible. During that flip, you're not going to feel like that, though. And some of you, I'm feeling like this has already happened and you're just starting to see the light, right? You're not really sure where the light leads, but you see the light. You're realizing your true potential. All right, messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus. Know that you are being guided and protected. The Five of Wands. Mm. 
right now the best thing for you to do is to listen to your own voice do not listen to outside influences do not listen to you know you can obviously go to your friends for advice but right now i'm getting that if you need help or advice go to yourself right um if you have a therapist you can even ask your therapist or maybe you have like somebody that i have like regular clients so maybe you have like somebody that you regularly see like a tarot reader maybe ask them but for some reason right now i'm getting that it's best to be protected from um asking friends and family for influ or for advice because it's going to influence you in ways that right now you really need to be influenced by your own self your true authentic self here so if you can't find the answer within yourself you know maybe go to a therapist maybe go to a reader whatever it is but i'm definitely getting like get that information from within first definitely try to get it from within um because i'm getting that there are other people's opinions that are going to steer you that can possibly steer you in the wrong direction right sometimes people um people think they know what's best for us but they truly don't right what they think is best for us may not be actually best for us all right you guys I'm going to pull you guys some of these lovers oracles and then we are going to get into your love reading and we're going to see where this beautiful connection goes this is gorgeous whoever whoever this person is is gorgeous you guys are gorgeous getting two very very attractive energies like lusty energy too If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for your heart is the gateway to the soul. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. And then we have, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point um, to try changing what is beyond our control, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You guys are a very fixed sign, so you don't like change, especially rapid change. And um, I definitely sense that there is a change, whether it was within a relationship, um, whether, it, yeah, some of you, this is definitely about a breakup here. Um, but whether it was a relationship or whatever it was that had changed, know that you always get through it. Think of all those changes in the past that you were just like, oh my God. And then you got through it in the end. You're here today, right? So think about you know if you're dealing with something hard think about something similar that you've gone through or the most intense thing you've gone through and remember how you got through it remember the fact that you did get through it and know and have faith that you will get through this all right you guys that is what i have for you i hope that you enjoyed this reading if you did and you would like more clarity regarding your situation or just about yourself and your own life path then the link for personal readings will be in the description box below um if you want to follow me down to your love reading where we're going to take a look at you and the person that is on your mind the most the link for that will be down below as well and feel free to like share subscribe <clears throat> follow me on instagram that is always greatly appreciated i love you guys and i will see you soon take care